Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. Today is Wednesday, that means it is Pack Battle Day. Me versus Average Joe, as always. And uh, today we are getting into some Heritage Baseball. I opened a blaster box of these last week and had a great time doing it. Joe wanted to open one, and I certainly wanted to open another one, so it all lined up for me to get into another box of this today. Joe is going to open a box of this on his channel. I'm going to open a box of this on my channel. And you get to watch both videos and let us know in the comments who is victorious. Representing me today is this uh, very attractive vampire elephant, or at least I think it's a vampire elephant. It has, I don't know, creepy red eyes. I don't know when they got, of course you can't see it because my camera is not playing nice as always. There it is, creepy red-eyed vampire elephant. That's who I get to be today. And Joe gets to be the creepy red-eyed vampire horse, or horse of death, as it is sometimes called. I don't know where the toy makers got the idea back in the long ago days when plastic was first invented and these toys came out when I was a child to uh, paint the animals with red eyes. I mean, they, they look decidedly creepy. I don't understand that. This camera is like eight miles away from my table. I'm not sure how that happened either today. I feel like uh, you guys are really not getting the full picture of those animals. They're like microscopic on the, on the frame there. I'm not quite sure why that happened today. Maybe I accidentally switched it to some sort of wide angle view or something. I don't know. Yeah, you even get the, the mug and little wolfy in the frame today. That never happens. I'm not sure what I did. In any event, that's the perspective you have today on the proceedings. I will be opening this. Joe will be opening this. It's going to be a good time. Uh, we can hope for some autograph or relic card situation to come out of here. We can also look for the 1974 stamps, including exclusive limited blue parallels. I'm also looking for high numbers. Anything over 401 in this set is a high number. And, of course, I'm also looking for rookies and all kinds of good stuff like that. Heritage has a lot of big rookies in it, and I would be delighted to pull some of those as well. Plenty of parallels and inserts and all kinds of other good stuff. Heritage is sometimes a, a tough product to pull stuff like that from. but uh, And there's tells you all kinds of stuff you can get out of there right there. And they actually fill up the box pretty well here. So you do get a lot of cards, but as I was saying, Heritage can be... A little bit challenging to pull uh, big parallels and, and inserts from. I'm not sure uh, why that is, but there are also like a lot of different sort of intentional error cards and variations, image variations and pack variations and stuff like that. So I'm just going to leave these in the order that they came in and move these animals to the back and then uh, get to unwrapping these packs and seeing what we get today. It's nine cards per pack. And I think it's uh, 8 or 10 packs in the box, I'm not sure, but uh, it's a lot. It's 72 total cards, so that's 8 packs, I believe. We do have some kind of foily special thing in here, so that's pretty cool. And we start off with an Aaron Judge special, which is pretty neat. All of these cards in the design template from 1974, a great classic design. Back in 74, they did Hank Aaron special cards, where they showed uh, Hank Aaron's uh, tops cards from his whole career. And in this set, they're doing Aaron Judge specials to commemorate him hitting 62 home runs last year. So pretty cool, and I definitely like that. That's a nice one. Max Meyer, very nice rookie there. Nothing wrong with that. It's a pretty good pull. Alex Manoa and Ken Waldlichuk from the A's. We got Joe Ryan, and here is a uh, special foily glossy rookie card of James Altman. James Altman, who I'm not that familiar with. Uh, this is numbered... And it is numbered to $9.99, so not a particularly low number, but it is numbered, and we'll put that in its own stack. We get one of these awesome rookie cards that has four players on it. This is a high number, I believe, and that is a, a pretty great pull as far as I'm concerned. Anytime you get four rookies on the same card, you can't really go wrong with that. That is $4.95, so that's our first high number card. Another rookie for us, Hayden Wisniewski from the Cubs, and a nice all-star card here with Aaron Judge and Acuna. So we get two Aaron Judge cards in that pack. That's a pretty nice start for things. Nice high number card, too, and James Altman, an out 
outfielder for the Dodgers. We get a nice parallel there. Uh, Mikel Garcia from the Royals there. Nice sideways card in action shot of that player. Then we got Cattell Marte from the Diamondbacks. And Nelson Velasquez from uh, the Cubs. Nice rookie card there. Michael Kopech and George Lopez. Aaron Nola, good pitcher for the Phillies. And we get an insert. Here's a New Age performer of Julio Rodriguez. That's pretty awesome. He looks a little dazed there, though. His, uh, I don't know, he looks a little like maybe the ball hit him in the head and he's confused about where he is. I'm not sure. Anyway, very nice J-Rod. We'll put that in the Wolf Lair as a uh, pretty good pull so far. As Waldo Cabrera from the Yankees. Nice rookie there. And Louis Varland from the Twins. Looks like he's watching his own replay up on the big screen there. They often do that in the majors and in the NFL as well. Let's see what we get out of our third pack today in this packed battle with Average Joe. You always know I have to pull quite well if I have any chance of beating Joe. We start this pack off with Eric Hosmer from the Cubs, Joe's team. Daniel Vogelbach from the Mets, Christian Walker there. Sideways card of Brendan Donovan chasing down a fly ball in the outfield there. Nice gold cup card of that player. Hasun Kim from the Padres. Another sideways card, Patrick Corbin. And Jordan Alvarez there looking very photoshopped. We got Jordan Diaz from the A's rookie card and O'Neill Cruz. That's a great one for me. I collect him as is evidenced by his rookie debut card in the background there sent to me by Justin at Three Good Nerds. Saw that on Monday. My son made off with all of the other cards that Justin sent, but I got to keep that one because I don't think my son noticed I had put it on the back wall. Bobby Witt Jr. starts us off here with his gold cup card. That's a really sweet card. You gonna have to put that one in the Wolf Lair. I like that one a lot. Ahmed Rosario from the Guardians. And we got uh, Johan Duran and Lance McCullers Jr. Stephen Kwan, Gold Cup card. And this is a nice one. This is one of those stamp cards that I mentioned. This is in the style of the uh, sort of stamp inserts that came out in 1974. Thurman Munson, Aaron Judge, Garrett Cole, and Giancarlo Stanton. So a very nice Yankees insert card there. You can see the back has a very tiny uh, copyright notice for each of those. And are these perforated? I can't tell if they are. Bring this up close to the camera so that you can give me uh, some perspective on this too. It does look like there's some perforation there. It's kind of hard to see, but I think you can probably see it in that angle. So they are perforated. I could tear those out if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'll put that in the wolf layer and we'll resume this pack with Isaac Paredes from the Rays. We got Jackson Profar there looking delighted and Josh Rojas about to throw somebody out perhaps. I'm not sure. Get to our next pack. We're about halfway point in this blaster box battle with Average Joe here on Pack Battle Day Wednesday, just like we do every week here on the Card Wolf Network. Cal Raleigh starts things off here from the Mariners. Good catcher for them. We got Wilmer Flores from the Giants, Danny Jansen there. Uh, Alir Hernandez, rookie card there for the Rangers. Felix Bautista, not the Orioles rookie I wanted, I have to say. We got Kevin Biggio and a flashback card, another insert, and it is a Richard Nixon insert. You can't say that very often when you're opening packs of baseball cards. Hey, I got the Richard Nixon insert. That's I'm not sure you really want to be saying that, but uh, in this case, we got one, and that is a... Uh, that is an insert, so I'll pull that one out. Jesus Aguilar, second Oriole of the pack, and Jared Walsh from the Angels there. Still don't know why they don't have L.A. or Anaheim up there in that part of the card, but uh, maybe somebody can tell me in the comments, or maybe Tops hasn't explained why they did things like that. But that apparently is just the way they presented the Angels this year. We start this one off with a sideways card of Hunter Dozier from the Royals. Andres Jimenez with a tip of the hat and a big smile for all of you viewers at home. Friendly, friendly Andres Jimenez from the Guardians. Clay Holmes and Cedric Mullins, three Orioles in two packs. Pretty good. Patrick Wisdom, shout out to Julie Searle. She is a big Patrick Wisdom fan. And we got uh, Seiya Suzuki, Clubhouse Collection Mem Card. That is a pretty sweet hit. I'll take that. I have inadvertently been collecting Seiya Suzuki, and this just adds to that. I seem to pull his cards just 
constantly, whether I want to or not, and certainly not uh, disappointed by that. That's a very nice relic card there of a good young player. Put that in the Wolf Lair as well. Rukned Odor and Trent Grisham greets us there. He also looks very photoshopped, I have to say, from the Padres. We're down to our penultimate pack, the second-to-last pack. Pulled a very nice Mem card out of that last pack. Happy to get that one. Though Joe may be jealous. The Cubs are his team, so he may uh, he may be jealous about that and want to have that one. Matt Stram from the Phillies starts things off here. Really nice in-action shot of him and his flowing locks. We've got uh, Garrett Hill from atop the pitching mound. Rookie card there, sideways card from the Tigers. Kyle Schwarber, who looks like he's up to something. Tell me that isn't a mischievous look on Kyle Schwarber there. I don't trust that guy. Kyle Schwarber from... The Phillies clearly up to something. Robbie Ray, who looks uh, like he's holding his breath before he pitches that one. I check that out if I can get it in focus there. Robbie Ray, man, that is quite, quite an expression on your face there. Double R. All right, so we got our next card. It's Jack Sawinski, rookie card from the Pirates. Joey Gallo, high stepping there from the Twins. Nick Allen. And Luis Severino, Cody Bellinger, finishes that one off. Another Cubs player. And we get to our final pack in the box. Pretty good box so far. We've gotten several good inserts, a numbered card, and a relic card. Haven't uh, gone through and checked for the high numbers. Other than that first pack, I recognized it immediately. But uh, I'm sure there's some others lurking in here. I just haven't pulled them out. Tony Kemp starts us off in this last pack. Marco Gonzalez and Jacob Junis. We get another... Uh, leaders card here and this is Garrett Cole and Corbin Burns the strikeout leaders Corbin Burns looks like he's got a mullet going on there and uh like he's posing for his yearbook picture or something that's really not a great photo of Corbin Burns who I predicted at the beginning of the season would be traded this season it hasn't happened yet but I'm going to hold by my prediction Pete Alonzo there with his uh, beautiful haircut he's uh, catching the last rays of the sun looking pensively in the Mets dugout Pete Alonzo having a good season so far. Dalton Varsho from the Jays. We get another nice insert here. It's Corbin Carroll from the Diamondbacks. That's a huge rookie pull. Very nice to get that one. Corbin Carroll, a very good player for them. That's uh, the first one of his rookie cards I have pulled at all. So that's pretty sweet. Randall Grichuk and Alexis Diaz gold cup card there. So uh, some very nice cards. I think Joe's going to have... I said this last week, and, and I think I won last week because I pulled very nicely, and I think there's another high number. I think Joe's going to have a hard time beating me this week. I got some good cards. I've been on a streak here on the pack battle. Looks like the zombie elephant may defeat the zombie, or are they vampires? I think they're vampires. I don't think zombies have red eyes. I think vampires do. So it's the vampire elephant with his giant tusks is going to defeat the vampire horse this week. Pulled a couple more high numbers out of there. We'll see if we have any more lurking in this last part of the stack. We're looking for numbers 401 or higher. I think, we sh I think we're due one more, maybe. We got three so far. I think we should be due one more if I remember how these assortments go. But maybe because we pulled so many other uh, inserts and, and uh, other cards, maybe we're only getting three in this box. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, we did get three high numbers. We got this nice... Oatman outfield card from uh, the Dodgers. Nice numbered card to nine ninety nine. And then in the Wolf Lair, I put aside a couple of uh, nice New Age Performers inserts. A uh, sort of dizzy-looking J-Rod and very nice Corbin Carroll card. It looks like he's flexing, actually, in that picture. I just noticed that. Corbin Carroll flexing as though he is Triple H or something. I'm not sure. Got this wonderful Seiya Suzuki Clubhouse Collection Mem card with the pinstripe there. That is pretty sweet. I like that one a lot. I'm not sure it's showing up on camera, but the pinstripe is actually Cubs blue. It's not black. It's actually Cubs blue. So that's a very nice card. Happy with that one. And a Richard Nixon insert. You can't go wrong when you get one of those. Nice stamp insert with a bunch of good Yankees players on there. And Bobby Witt Jr. Gold Cup and O'Neill Cruz second year card. So uh, I don't know. That seems like a really good box to me. I think Average Joe's got his hands full with that one this week. And I think we will see my vampire elephant crush the <laughs> vampire horse for whatever that's worth. Hope you guys had fun with this. I certainly had a great time. Heritage is one of my favorite products, as you know, and uh, I was happy 
when Joe said he wanted to open it this week. Very delighted to do that. I'll be back tomorrow on Anything Can Happen Day here. Thursday is Anything Can Happen Day on the channel. I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen, but you're not going to expect it. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Whatever you're thinking is going to happen, it's probably not going to be that. It's going to be something else. Of course, Friday is Dorking with Dice, and we'll have a box with vintage hockey and vintage baseball once again for that. Stanley Cup Finals progressing apace, as they say. And uh, I don't think they'll be over by uh, by Friday, so we I don't think there's any chance of that. So we will continue to keep hockey in the box. And then once hockey phases out, maybe we'll do a big double dorking episode with two boxes, and then it'll be baseball all summer long in the dorking box. A lot of fun with that. I got a lot of great baseball packs, vintage packs to put in there, stuff I've not opened on the channel before that I've been unearthing and saving up for the summer. So it's not going to be a dull moment on Dorking with Dice. You can bet on that. I'll see you back here tomorrow, and as always, happy collecting.